AFC Series 15. This year is a pretty exciting format. We've got a three-team event this year. You've got to qualify through the uh, sortie round, so we've got to get our four best sorties, and then the grand final would be uh, two teams fighting it out for Barramundi and essentially the title for AFC 15. Today we're going out to try and catch four of the biggest sooties you've ever seen, just to really put Team BCF right on their toes and, and challenge them right to the end. But if we can upgrade those fish throughout the session, we'll be in good stead to do really well this weekend. Yep. This is uh, round one. So up against the Jacklings guys, which are two guys I know very well from the bass circuit. I know how these guys can compete. I know they're very talented guys. So it'll be interesting to see how they go with a new species. Jack Lynx ready. So I'm Mitchell Cohn and uh, I'm fishing on Team Jack Lynx. Today we're at Yungala Dam and uh, we're going to go out and try and smash some sooty grunners for AFC 15. All right, Angler. On the count of three. Two. One. Go. Let's go, man. Let's get him, eh? Do it. This morning when we turned up to Yungala, there was a, a slight breeze coming down the valley and we knew that the shags liked to roost out of the wind. So immediately we knew exactly where we needed to go. We had a bay that was sheltered from the wind. And when we turned up, we could see them in the distance. So we just slowly idled up. We didn't want to make too much noise. We just drove down to the back of that bay, just, um, you know, excited just to, just to get it all happening. Right, hey man, AFC 15, Jack Links. Do it. Let's do it, eh? I'm a little bit excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit excited too. <laughs> Where's BCF there? They're on the back side of the island, so we should have a fair run at it, eh? You could tell Dean and myself are pretty nervous this morning. It's not often I see the big fella nervous who's taking some deep breaths this morning, so I knew it meant a lot to him. Let's do it, eh? <laughs> Let's do it. I never make the first cast. I'm superstitious. I've got to let the old Capitan have the first cast. So in he went. Tradition, first cast. Zip, straight past the wood like he does. And I'm thinking that's going to get crunched. It's going to be nasty. And then right on cue, punk. Yep. Off it goes. Oops. <laughs> All right, now we're on. It was the first cast with my little from last season. <laughs> Picking up where you left off, mate. Good fish. This thing just cracked me and actually scared me. So for that whole fight, even though Liam's like, oh, he's nice and calm, my knees are shaking, I'm just nervous thinking, no, I can get this one in. It's ripping a bit of string off, and that's something I didn't hear last year. Dean gave me a lot of tips last year, and one of them was, I don't want to hear your drag. So to hear line coming off his reel, I knew it must have been a good fish. That's a horse. That's a pretty big one. And up comes this big, dark, bronze, beautiful fish. Oh, that's a horse. Thank you, sir. All right. It was actually probably one of the hardest fighting sorties I've ever fought. Nice solid one to start. Got me shaking. <laughs> that's it. I went straight back in with my cast. First cast, just past the snag that he cast in on. And then just, boom, there it went. Yep. Get on. Take your time, take your time. While I am overwhelmed by the size of how big my fish is, Liam is already on. <laughs> it's chaos. I've got one. Liam got one. Oh, good fish. Big as well. Yep. Felt like a good fish. They all feel big here. It's AFC, it's a big thing. So in we come. Look how long this thing is. Nice, 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 nice. Get it. Get away from the motor. Yes. Dean nets the fish. We've both got fish in the boat. Yes. Monkeys off my back, gorillas off his back. Off we go and we're away. If you're sitting at home ever thinking about coming to Young to do it. This is amazing. This Macquarie region is crazy. Thanks, buddy. Whew. Off you go. Awesome. Here are the rules and points guidelines for Yungala Dam. Anglers will fish a four hour limit. Their bag will be determined by their four longest fish. A legal fish must be caught to register a point. A bonus point will be awarded to the team that catches the longest fish per round. 
I'll switch bait. Get, get it in I'll here. switch bait. Yeah. We were out there looking for shags because sooties, they really love eating the poo and the shag poo. And there's a little bit of chop on the water and we think that the sooties weren't fully committed to coming actually out and breaching to, to hit our lures. So we changed from plan A to plan B quite quickly, fishing the lily pads and edges up in Homestead Bay. And the early decision I think was key because we knew that there was a bite window early. Yep. Yep. Yes, mate. The first initial bite, it was pretty intense actually because we were so focused on just trying to catch a fish. I got him, mate. He's caught in the tail. Oh no. We just got to get him in the net. As it got closer to the boat, it's still trying to get under those lily pads. And I was so worried that it was going to come out because those hooks usually are for mouths, not tails. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> we'll take them anyway if we can get them. <laughs> That's a solid start, man. The monkey's off the back. Oh. We were stoked. There was high fives. We were so excited to get our first fish in AFC. It was great. That's what we come here to catch. It's just such a magnificent fish. Oh, no. Thanks, bud. One there, just swelled on it. Next to that trunk. The big trunk, yep. Just swelled on a bit of poo, yep, that'll get him. Watch this. <laughs> good cast. Yep. yep, that is a good cast. Okay. Oh my god. That's a good fish. Just ripped string off. Yeah, you hear that thing? Yeah. All the fish are really structure oriented and it's important to get your cast exactly where you want it to be to get the fish. But the problem is that second fish of mine, as the lure hit the water, the sooty's hit it and he's on the wrong side of the tree. So what Dean's doing, he's keeping calm. It's on the wrong side of the tree. Because these trees aren't sharp and full of barnacles, you can just put pressure on them and just let them sort of wrestle it out as we come up gently with the boat. Nice long one too. Yeah. Before you would stress, but catching them now, you sort of understand, yes, they're strong, but they're not really determined to do you any harm. They're determined to just get away. So we just work it back out and net the fish. So we're pretty happy that it all sort of went well. Another nice one. Not as big as the first one, but oh, strong little fighter. Liam's about, yep, Liam's up. <laughs> Straight away, I know this is a different fish. I've got a fairly tight drag setting compared to last year and I'm feeling this thing and it is rattling me and I'm just like, This has got some weight to it, man. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, that's a long one. Nice, nice, that is a big one. Yes. Oh, what a big! That is a big one. I was so pumped to get that in. Feeling really good, like knees are shaking, arms are shaking. We, we, we've got our limit, we've, we've got two stonking fish in contention and uh, life's really good at this point, really good. That is what you want to catch in a tournament. That is unreal. Oh, see you later, buddy. Oh, that's a fish. Big. He's big. I fish a lot of tournaments. I've actually even been to America fishing tournaments. I don't really get nervous. Oh my God. Okay. But this morning, I was half aware of what could happen. What is happening? And when it all started happening, it's the best feeling with having Liam there. So last year, I had a session where I had four fish in five casts. And it's probably the best fishing that I've ever had. But it wasn't the team, you know. Liam was helping me and everything, but it was just me. This time, for me to be hooking up, <laughs> I've got one of our best fish of the day, and then Liam's already hooked up again. So it's like, the start of this round was basically just as magical as we thought. <laughs> this is how you want to fish. <laughs> we only need four bites. 
we knew Team BCF was going to catch them because they're good anglers and we knew that we weren't getting numbers but we were getting quality so that's what we were really going to focus on. We knew that the fish were in the area and we knew that we just had to pick it apart, we just had to keep moving and it wasn't long until bang again. Yep. On fire mate, on fire. That was a definite bite. Oh he's a good one too. He come towards me initially, but as soon as I put a bit of pressure on him, that's when he started diving towards that weed again. Oh, he's a brute. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that is a brute. Yes, bro. <laughs> Got him in the net, and yes. that was too. We were so stoked. It was, again, it was high fives, and, and yeah, it was brilliant. Have a look at the depth and size of these things. They're almost purple. What a cool fish. Right on, son. We needed fish between 40 and 50 centimetres to put some pressure on Team BCF. And two more. To have two good fish, we were super confident. It was only early in the morning. We just knew we had to put our head down and grind it out. Yep. Oh! Alone. <laughs> he was in there. Not long after that, we were still on the same stretch, still just outside the lilies, and I've made a cast out to two trees side by side and I've let it hit the bottom. I've just gone one twitch and gone to let it sink again and then the next time I went to hop it, I couldn't feel my lure and I'm like, uh-oh. Yep, he ate that on the drop. All right. He'd already just eaten it and started swimming away with it. Good, bro. Oh, he's all right. He's in open water. A short wrestle to get him away from the sticks but once he was away, we got him to the surface and in the net. Yeah, boy. It was a huge relief off my shoulders after uh, yeah, Matt doing all the early work. It's lovely. These younger, younger sooties can certainly put on a show and they can peel some drag in that tight country. <laughs> awesome fish. How good are they? Thanks, mate. One more. One more. Like most people, I got started fishing from a very young age. Catching my first fish, the initial tug on the line and getting to wind it in, it was an amazing feeling. I think the biggest influence in the early days when I was a teenager was actually watching AFC. It's the thrill of the chase. It all started there and the fire still burns deep. I spend a lot of time outdoors and I think it's definitely therapeutic. The things with fishing in general are the places that it takes you. Like, I've been all over Australia fishing. When you get to see the sun rise over them mountains, even when you're fishing, you've got to sometimes just step back, take a breath, and take it all in. Oh, it's a... It's a... Which bait had a test. Me and Dean had a conversation last night and we said, Jesus, got in the weed. Yeah. How good would it be if I teased them up to the top and Dean switch baited in with whatever he had on his rod behind. Once they're in that angry feeding mode, got him out nice. Yeah. I'll just swipe ten of them. Oh, isn't a long one, maybe. No. Little fella. Looks big and water. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> That's teamwork. <laughs> so Liam used the top water because there's too much weed outside the lily pads for me to fish what I was fishing before. And we saw it attack it twice. I've got a basically a surface oil that sinks really slowly, so if they don't want to come up and hit it, this will be down where they are and they can just eat it. So after we switch baited that fish, we knew we had a good bag. And to be fishing on cue with each other, I think it, it, it's a big bonus for myself and him. And I guess oh, if he can trust me as much as he trusts himself with a cast, we're going to be very hard to beat, and that's the goal, to be as hard as possible to beat in this series as a team. There he is. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I was in a big bit of trouble because there was line around the tree. I'm just keeping pressure on this fish. As we got close to the snag itself, the fish took the opposite direction, and it comes straight out into the deep. Oh, that's massive. And then when it turned up and went belly up, I went, oh, wow. That's a long one. A super long one. It's huge. I'm ecstatic. Yes. Day one, doesn't get any better than that. Yes. 
lay it on the brag mat and it's going over to 50 mark. PB, sooty for me, like awesome fun, top to well. Thanks buddy, might need you to come back on day three. <laughs> more bite. I think knowing that we'd caught three fish in that same area and we knew that we had a lot more bank to go, we picked up that our fish were coming in intervals of about half an hour to 40 minutes. So we just kept casting, put them in the right areas and sure enough, the big one started to bite. It was a clean take, it just felt that line go tink and bang, it was on. Put his head down, tried to get into that weed, but it was quite a clean catch, that one. Oh, big one. Big one. Yeah! There's a limit. Well done, man. <laughs> yes. That's a chunky one. We couldn't really tell that he was a kicker, but when he came to the surface, he was nice and fat, nice and long, and yeah, we were certainly ecstatic to get him in the boat. That's a nice one. That particular fish, I think, tweaked us onto a little bit of a different retrieve. So I was casting up and I thought to myself, maybe if I just roll it, and I started to roll very slowly, the little paddle tails wiggling away, and within 15 minutes, it happened again. Oh, Matthew Langford is on fire. Same thing, you feel that tick, and the tick's what you want, because that's the fish coming up behind him and just grabbing it. Put a bit of pressure on him and he dove again. Oh, he's another good one. Trying to get to that snag. Come out, son. Don't you go in there. They fight so dirty. Well done. Comes to the top and we can see that it was another good one. Oh, he's just a dirty fighter. Oh, isn't he? Um, got his head. He wants to go into that tree, man. Get him up just a touch. Yes! <laughs> you are on fire! <laughs> it's working. It's the Matthew Langford show. <laughs> In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, geez, I hope that's an upgrade for us. We really need a fish to really just bump us up a little bit more because any extra size is good size. Put him on the brag mat, and once again, we were, we were so excited because not only for us to get a, a bag in AFC, um, but to upgrade as well, we were just like, Yes, this is happening, this is great, so we're stoked. <laughs> it's game on. This place is a fishing mecca. It's got so much to offer, but to me, the real jewels in the crown are the man-made empowerments with their world-class barramundi and sooty grunter. You can go anywhere in Australia, I think, and, and find perfect water, but this Mackay region, beautiful warm days, beautiful skies. Magic spot. Just everywhere you look, there's something different to see. Nice cast. That's going to get smashed. We had two key spots, basically, and because we have three rounds and we also have another team that knows about our two key areas, I didn't really want to hit it that hard. Oh. It's all about managing your fish and managing the risk over the three days. We don't get to fish tomorrow, which is going to be really hard to know that two other teams potentially may find our honey hole. We had to start looking further afield, so we spent probably the next two hours or so. I jumped to about eight spots. I think Liam caught another good fish, and even though it didn't seem like a long time, if you're not catching anything, an hour and a half or so is incredibly long time. So it started to sort of play on our minds. We need to find something else, something new, something different, something even if it didn't work right then, something that we thought could work for us on our third round. So we kind of fished our main area out and we knew we needed them big kickers. So we made a run back up the dam through the timber. We started to hit some big isolated trees. We found the fish was suspending in the tops of the trees and yep. you might have to put your head down for two hours without a bite, but when you got that bite, oh. it was always a big one. So we're fishing away and I've, I've heard Matt say, that was a bite. Yep. Got him. Yes. He set the hooks on this thing and it's bricked him. Yeah. Show me the other we're on the Alecky, like it's mayhem trying to get this thing out, thinking this is the one we need, this is the kicker. And then it's breached and surfaced and we've looked at it and it was the smallest sooty that we have caught since we've been here. It was about maybe 30 centimetres. Is that even a sooty? 
it wasn't what we were looking for, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. It's a swimming bar. We come out here for kickers. <laughs> it's totally reversed. It's 180 reverse to what we thought we knew. Coming into the reveal, we're just dying to find out. We really want to know how the other guys went. You can have a dream day. The morning is amazing. Your spirits are really high. As the day gets hotter, longer, you haven't caught fish for ages. If you asked us at about seven o'clock, if we were going to be happy, we'd say, yep, we've won. Right now, I don't know. <laughs> Here are the results for AFC round one at Yungala Dam. Team BCF caught 12 fish for a bag length of 202 centimetres with a big fish of 51 centimetres. Team Jack Lynx caught six fish for a bag length of 183 centimetres and their biggest fish is 48 centimetres. Wow, hammers. <laughs> well done, lads. Smoked this gives Team BCF four points for the win and big fish. Jack Lynx collects one point. Phew. <laughs> nice. Next time on AFC, Team Jack Lynx will look to bounce back, yes. taking on new challenges Team Firefly in this tri-series format. Yeah.